Happy Monday, hashtag my global family. This is Dre Abeta, coyote walking in this world, real life as Sleto Pueblo superhero, former pastor, and now just coyote of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Our services are here on Facebook Live on Wednesdays, family. Today, our prayer to our ancestors, family, and don't forget, in Coyote's Lodge, we are not a house of religion or of an institution, but rather we are literally walking the path of our ancestors. And when we pray, family, we are speaking to them directly, asking for their guidance and blessings. So today, prayer, today's prayer, family, is about resiliency. And I'm asking you, what does resiliency mean to you? As a survivor of trauma three times over, as a survivor, as a child of rape and molestation, as a ramification of Indian boarding schools, I know that I am resilient. I know that I come from a long line of warrior women and men who have stood up and defended our communities. And despite it all family, despite empire building and colonization and conquest, indigenous peoples, not only of the Americas, but of the world are resilient. And today's prayer is to allow us to remember how powerful we are, to remember our ancestors and the battles that they fought that were hard won so that we would be able to survive and thrive today in 2022, family. Because the sacrifices that my grandparents, my parents, my partner, all of the people in my community who help lift me up on the daily, they also are resilient family. We are pulling from something not only deep inside ourselves, but it comes because we are loved because we are supported, because we know who we are, and that brings us strength. So today, family, as we are burning our sage, as we are setting an intention for our day, as we are saying hello to our ancestors, I would like to remind you that you are brave, you are powerful, you are resilient, that your voice, your lived experiences matter. And that as a fellow human being, I acknowledge you, I see you, and I love you. Yummy, it's your favorite trickster coyote warrior. I miss you, Gammy. And some days I want to give up. <laughs> It's hard being a warrior. It's hard standing up for people's rights. It's difficult to be an educator, to be an auntie, to be a caregiver of people around us. It is difficult to feel as though you have the weight of the responsibility of all the world on your shoulders because we have bills to pay. We have mortgages or rent. We have our families to feed. And every dollar seems to get tighter as we go on. So ancestors, Gammy, you can work a miracle with a dollar. You were resilient and you were strong and you literally spit in the face of people who would disrespect you. My Gammy was a warrior woman. And may you send those blessings to us, Gammy. We need to remember who we are and remember we are powerful and we are strong and that we also are worthy of dignity, respect, and love. May you rest in peace, Gammy. And to my papa. <laughs> ah, if my grandma was all spitfire, <laughs> my papa was all tender care and love. Papa, as all of our people struggle to remember how strong they are in the face of all of this confusion. <sighs> let's be honest, Papa. COVID is confusing. <laughs> we don't know what's going on and science and vaccines and boosters and masking and everything keeps changing. So Papa, we're wary. And we would like to remember how strong we are and to be patient and kind with ourselves. So allow us to have the super power of resiliency to fall over our shoulders and to expand like a cloak that will embrace us with love and kindness papa 
We are strong, we are resilient, and I will always remember your example as you continue to love and care for our family. May you rest in peace. And to my great great grandpa Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a sled of public statesman. You wrangled with presidents and you influenced policy and got our land back. Dear Papa, allow our lawmakers to remember they have a human heart and to make change that will uplift all of our people. And to all of our aunties, gammies, papas, cousins, and all of those who've gone before us, may you allow our hearts to be lifted from our burdens and worries and allow us to continue to walk the warrior way as we fight for our people's rights our ability to live and be respected as human beings. May you all rest in peace. Family, Woo. it's Monday, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm already 30 minutes late <laughs> on everything. But you know what? It's gonna be okay, family. Do you know why? Because today is the first day of the rest of our lives. And I know that everything is not okay right now, family. This is your daily reminder that if everything is not okay, it is not you. It is COVID, it's uncertainty, it's capitalism, it's homelessness and jobs right now. There are a lot of things that are affecting our society right now. And I am just reminding you also that if you need to be lifted up, if you need someone to listen to you, please, I am always a direct message, email, a phone call away. And there are many resources in our communities, including the suicide hotline. Um, please family, reach out to your family and friends and you will always find someone who will be there to listen to you. I love you. This coyote is off <laughs> like normal <laughs> to go cause trouble somewhere else. <laughs>